So, a threat intelligence analyst detects cyber uh, threats and malware and analyzes the level of threat to inform cybersecurity business decisions. They need to know what cybersecurity risks are of most concern to the organization, what, what assets, assets need to be protected, protected and, and how, how to prioritize threats to focus their efforts on what's important. Hello, my name is Mark Janot Jr. If you're new here, I do cyber related videos. Today, we're going to discuss what is the difference between a SOC analyst versus, versus a, threat a threat intelligence, intelligence analyst. analyst. So a SOC analyst versus, versus a threat, threat intelligence, intelligence analyst. analyst. So this is courtesy of Jessica Frank at uh, CompTIA.org. So, similar to cybersecurity analysts, SOC analysts are the first responders to cyber, to cyber incidents. They report, they report cyber, cyber threats, threats and, and then, then implement, implement changes, changes to protect an organizations. Job duties include providing threat and vulnerability analysis, analysis investigating, uh, comma, d documenting and reporting on information security issues and emerging trends, analyzing and responding to previously undisclosed software and hardware vulnerabilities, preparing organizational disaster recovery plans. So, whereas a cybersecurity analyst may be the only cybersecurity professional at an organization, SOC analysts are generally part of a large security operations team. The SOC analyst role is the last line of defense against cyber criminals. Without them, hackers and other cyber criminals may never be found. SOC analysts work alongside with cybersecurity engineers and security managers and most uh, likely report to a chief information officer, uh, chief information security officer, CISO. So that is a SOC analyst. We're about to get into what is a threat intelligence analyst. So, a threat intelligence analyst detects cyber uh, threats and malware and analyzes the level of threat to inform cybersecurity business decisions. They need to know what cybersecurity risks are of most concern to the organization, what, what assets, assets need, need to, to be, be protected, protected and, and how, how to prioritize threats, threats to, to focus, focus their, their efforts, efforts on, on what's, what's important. important. This is not an entry level position as it requires experience in both cybersecurity and computer networking. While threat intelligence analysts aren't working directly on IT infrastructure, previous experience as a network administrator or a network engineer helps provide the understanding needed to fully understand threats. A threat intelligence analyst may also be responsible for predicting trends in cybercrime based on current activity. Describing threats in layman's terms to stakeholders and executives. Deeply analyzing emails, blog posts, and social media presence, presences to determine what, lev what level threat something or someone poses. Conducting digital forensics. So, threat intelligence analysts have to excel at analytics. This position varies from in-house positions to consulting work. Whatever capacity the company has hired a threat intelligence analyst at, the position, the position is a crucial one. The role of a threat intelligence analyst is generally threefold. Technical research, intelligence research, and communicating the findings to the proper people. Threat intelligence analysts may be part of an in-house team or work for a managed service provider, also known as MSP providing cybersecurity services uh, to clients. How to become a threat intelligence analyst. Most companies hiring a threat intelligence analyst are looking for someone with a bachelor's degree in computer science, cybersecurity, programming, or a related field. However, this may not be required if you have several years of experience under your belt. Threat intelligence analysts need a very particular set of skills to quote Lehman Nielsen's in Taken, they need to stay focused, uh, manage a heavy workload, and know when to, pursue, when to pursue something and when to move on. Threat intelligence analysts will encounter false positives, so they need to persevere and not get discouraged. In addition to analytical skills and computer networking experience, as mentioned uh, previously, 
threat intelligence analysts need to be able to communicate their findings to a non-technical audience and make recommendations to inform business decisions. They also need to think one step ahead of a threat actor to try and figure out what they might need to do next. Knowing foreign languages can also be beneficial when hunting down global threats. So a SOC analyst must have a steady and unshakable eye for detail as they have to monitor things at once. They must watch and respond to a number of threats and they may be different levels of responsibilities depending on how big the company is and how many SOC analysts uh, it employs. From monitoring to reacting, a SOC analyst day is rarely the same from one to the next. So that is the difference between a SOC analyst and a threat intelligence analyst. Please feel free to watch, like, and comment other videos on this channel. Subscribe now.